Hey everybody, you're watching T-Forbes Daily, the show where I talk about something or other every single day, and today I have, uh, I, well, I have to tell you a story. A week and a half ago, I got confirmation from a friend of mine, Matt, who runs the comedy at CAMS that I've talked about numerous times in this video, and I've got confirmation that I'm on the lineup. So, this Saturday, I'm going to be going up at about 9, 10 o'clock, or at least it starts at 9, 10, I don't know when I'm going on, sometime between then and 2 o'clock. But I'm going up there to do five minutes, which is fun. It's exciting. I'm a little bit nervous of it, but uh, or I was a little bit nervous at it because this would be my first time going up there in a while, and I gotta I gotta refine my material because, like I think I've said, I didn't have the best reaction last time, at least not from the audience. <laughs> but uh, I was I was okay with that. I was confident with it. Well, on Friday of last week, I made the mistake of mentioning that to my coworkers. Now. I'm probably never going to feature them in the video like this, but my coworkers are probably all over 40 and they love screwing with me. They, uh, just because of my, who I am at my, at my work and my family kind of, um, connection there, because my, my mom's worked there for many, many years, my aunt, my aunt and uncle, it's just, I, I'm a known person there, so they love screwing with me. And basically I happen to mention that I was going to be performing there. And my coworkers, a bunch of managers, a bunch of people that uh, love razzing me, they all decided that they were going to take it upon themselves to all come and sit in the front row and just screw with me. Because, well, that seemed like a good idea at the time, and they thought that would be a fun source of entertainment. I am freaking out a little bit now because <laughs> I know that they're going to be there laughing at me and making fun of me and doing all kinds of heckling and I don't know if I have the experience to deal with that. I'm gonna live with it. Whatever happens is gonna happen. I've already screwed up probably as bad as anybody can screw up in a comedy show on my first time so I'm feeling a little bit more confident but I guess what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a call out to any of you in the Toronto area. I'm gonna have the location and the information kind of um, down in the description below but if any of you guys want to come and cheer me on, or at the very least have a legitimate reaction, if it's funny, laugh. I'm not asking you to come and just ha 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 ha, because that would be a weird laugh. I'm not asking you to just show up and laugh for no reason um, if I don't deserve it. But don't screw with me if I don't need to. Just kind of have an honest reaction. So I'm asking you guys, come out. It'll be a lot of fun. I know they're always trying to get more people um, to come watch these things. There's a lot of great comedians always. They always, they always make me laugh. Um, sometimes intentionally, sometimes not, but that's okay. That's just the way things work. And I know for a fact that, um, Matt, a friend of mine running it, will appreciate having more people there for comedy. Uh, so come on down, check the description for the location and the time, and I would love to see you guys out there. Make sure to tell your friends. I want, like, everybody you know there. I don't know. I'm digging myself a hole here. Realistically, I uh, <laughs> I initially didn't want anybody to come. I wanted it to be like the five people that show up and don't know it's comedy and like happen to stumble in are the only people that would see me. And now that I know that these my coworkers are showing up, uh, I'm just like screw it. Let's just dive in with both feet. And they're all coming. So I thought let's get some people on my side, or at least not on their side. But. Uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I've been wandering for, you know, three minutes and I have no idea where I am. So I gotta go figure that out. Bye. See you tomorrow.